little different for you being down in the field last week? Yeah, you know, I've been there before. And, uh, used to be down there a good bit, especially when Coach Chiswick was here as the defensive coordinator before. You know, he always worked up top. Some coordinators like to work up top. You know, some like to work the field. So I've had a combination of both since I've been coaching. You know, about half of them I've been on the field, and the other half like to be on the field, so I've been in the box, kind of been the eyes. But, um, you know, Coach Chiswick and us talk. We felt it was very important last week. I'm playing a lot of young cornerbacks. We know there's going to be a lot of snaps. We know we've got to play a lot of people. We're young, and uh, you know we talked and felt like it was best advantage for you know Auburn and us for me to be down there and keep them charged, to keep them ready to go, uh, mix up some things. You know, so worked worked well. There was 90 some snaps in that ball game, and my guys play special teams too, so I had some of them play 90 snaps. So, so. Y'all played a lot of. Is it an adjustment for them? I mean, I'm sure they're used to hearing you from the booth and then have you down there right up in their face when you need to talk. Yeah, but there was, uh, you know, there's, there's enough experience on the field, and that's what we felt like that we took various responsibilities from the sidelines. We could still see what was going on and what was happening, and we divided those responsibilities, you know, and I was still able to do what I do, you know, and, and see, see a lot that was going on, and we just felt that, uh, you know, keeping them charged, they're young, keeping the motivation, and, uh, you know, keep the toughness. We just felt that uh, you know, that's the way it needed to be. We understand, you know, that it's going to be a long, as everybody knows, season. Uh, with the schedule the way it is, it's going to be very tough. Uh, we've got to get a lot of young folks ready to play. And that's what I tried to do. I played everybody the other day. I mean, every one of them. And, uh, we got to continue to do that. Y'all played a lot more, man, the second game than you first. How, how did that sort of work out? Worked out good. You know, and, and you know I love to press and get in your face anyway. And of course, the way the teams run the football now, and you know the, the first two offenses we played, it's a lot like ours. If you look, I mean, you know Kansas State, multiple, multiple formations, and Mississippi State's the same way. You know, you, you sit there, and it's a lot of motion, a lot of option, a lot of the quarterback keeping the football on draws, powers, counters, a lot of misdirection looks, a lot of bubbles. Um, you know, high flying offense, and they're very physical. So. You know, it, it makes you have to guard sideline to sideline as well as vertical. And uh, we felt it was our advantage to press those receivers up a good bit and try to, you know, everybody's in a two and three play system now. If you don't get the bubbles and things covered, they're going to throw that right off the bat. And uh, if you do, then they've got another two or three plays that they will come with as they number you. And it, it gets to be a you know chess match down there. And these young guys, you know, they're, they're starting to catch up. How did you guys play uh, against State? Thought they played very well. Thought they played very well. I was pleased. Uh, Chris Davis had his fine game. As I've coached some pretty good corners here. It's about as fine as game as I've seen. Uh, and, uh, as far as the hustle, getting after it, y'all probably know more about it than me. I look at the technique and the toughness and all those type things and whether you're hitting people, tackling. But he come off man to man several times and made tackles that's, you know, back inside just because he's able to control the guy at the line of scrimmage. So he did some very good things. Is he there yet? No, and, and, I, and I'll tell him that, you know, and, and uh, he understands our goals and what we want to do. But, uh, had a very fine football game, and he's really coming on as a football player. What does that say about a sophomore that you're saying he's had one of the better games that you've, you've had? That's... Yeah, I've had some pretty good ones here. You know, uh, Carlos Rogers, you know, and several of them in the pros now with the Patrick Lees. Gerards, we've had some good ones. The Irons, I mean, going on and on. Will Heights, but he, uh, as far as man to man, I don't know if he, I don't I don't think he gave up a, a catch the other night. That's that's pretty hard to do. Uh, you know, like I said, he was he was able to be very physical in the game, make some very physical plays. And so I mean, you know, he had a good ball game. To, uh, but now you know, it's like I tell him, it's not if you're going to get beat, it's when you when you get beat in this league. If you're pressing a lot, it's going to happen with these great receivers, and, and, and I want to see how he responds to a lot of those things now and late in games because we're going to face some great receivers as, as the year goes. And uh, of course, that's that way with all the corners. And, you know, there's some great receivers in the league. It's going to happen. And how you respond to that tells a lot about your toughness and, and uh, how you handle things.